Howdy folks, Charlie here from Christmas on Crestline. Thanks for tuning in and thank you for tuning in to a review and an interview show. Today we'll be reviewing the Zippered Stocking from the Zippered Stocking Company and we will be interviewing their creators, their owners, Santa and Karen are with us today to talk about their product, the Zippered Stocking. Jean, my wife, and I were at Transworld, and the Christmas light show happens in May in St. Louis. That's one of about, there's the Florida Mini, there's Transworld, and there's Christmas Expo. Uh, Christmas Expo is uh, middle of July, different town every year. Uh, but we were at Transworld, and we ran into the zippered stocking folks, and we interviewed them real quickly about their product. So if you don't know anything at all about the product, let's let the man himself talk to you about it. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Santa Claus. All right, we are here at Transworld. We are at the Zipper Stocking Company. With me today is Santa, Santa's helper. Would you introduce yourselves and tell the folks who you are and what you do? Howdy, everyone. I'm Santa Claus here, and we've got the world's first zippered Christmas stocking. What a jolly handle and zipper combination allows you to carry Christmas anywhere as well as ship it easily. Is this for this, the average consumer, like you're going over to grandma's, grandma's gonna give you 10 stockings, zip them up and off you go? Absolutely, this is for everyone and anyone that celebrates Christmas. They're great for corporate events, swag bags, okay, Christmas parties, white elephants, the entire thing. You can even spend Christmas remotely unzipping stockings together if you need to. Very cool, I didn't even think about swag bags. That'd be perfect for a Christmas party for a corporate event. Um, and then I, I was thinking, I've gone to my grandma's houses, you know, for last, 20 years because that's how old I am um, and then you, you're walking out the door with a ton of stockings my grandma's a big stocking person um, but yeah swag bags that'd be pretty cool absolutely and you know they're just so easy to carry uh, people are using them as purses we're finding people throwing them running with them it's just a new more versatile stock and how can people people want, want to buy this how can they get a hold of you to, to do so absolutely we're online at zipperedstockings.com you can find us on social at zipperedstockings.co zipperstockings.com and zipperstockings co co okay all right and you have a facebook group anything else uh we do have a facebook page uh, okay. Stockings co there as well all right fair enough and how much are they for folks uh regularly we got 20 dollars retail for okay. the red and white traditional stocking and then for these ultra custom designs we do 30 dollars. so you do custom stockings is that something somebody can send you in design and you do absolutely and they're all made in america so if someone wants their logo on it, you can take care of that for them. Absolutely. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Santa. And I'm sorry, what was your name? Karen. Karen and Santa, thank, thank you so much you. for taking some time. Thank you, Karen, and thank you, Santa Claus, for taking your uh, quick couple minutes and talking to us about your product. So now that I've had this product in my house for quite some time, what do I think about it? Well, first of all, it's as soft as all get out. This is a velvet or it's not suede, but it feels like a velvet material. This is as soft like a baby blanket, you're like, oh, that's a soft baby's blanket. This is a soft dang material. It's uh, This is a material uh, any child would love to have as their favorite blanket uh, or heck pillow. So the, the material itself is outstanding. Uh, you got the traditional white and red stocking. <clears throat> you got the hanger up here so it can hang on fireplace, whatever hook you got going. And it's got the handle here. If you want to use it as a swag bag or gift bag, or a quick, uh, you know, put some lottery tickets in there for the white elephant, kind of like what Santa was talking about. Um, so the stitching itself, stitching is nice. I don't have any problem whatsoever with the stitch work. Um, all the stitches are inside. It, it's beautifully done. As far as this handle here, it feels as though if I just <clears throat> yank on it, it's gonna rip right off. Probably will, I don't know, but that's just the feel I get of it. It could be completely wrong. I don't want to do that because I don't want to ruin it because I only bought one of these. So for the zipper, the zipper, I've zipped this open and shut about a hundred times and it has not caught on me. With that said, the zipper itself feels like it could be, um, it feels like it could get stuck at some point in time. It's not as smooth as say a zipper on jeans or a purse or something that is always going to have a nice zipper on it. Um, I wouldn't say it's a cheap zipper, but it doesn't flow as well. It feels like the teeth are just rough. It could be because it's only been zipped and unzipped about a hundred times. I don't know. Uh, but you can see right there, it's kind of catching. I say that and it doesn't. Yeah, 
just a little bit. So I feel as if maybe the zipper could be a better quality. Um, I feel as if I, 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 I'm real tempted just to yank this just for you, just to see if it will, if it, this, how the stitch work is. But I'm not going to because I do like this and I don't want to ruin it. Uh, if I happen to be right and if it happens to pull apart. My point being with the handle is if you put 50 pounds of whatever here, is the handle going to rip? Because I wouldn't want that to happen. So I don't know, naively, I don't know what the weight limit, if any, has been tested on this product. Uh, we have put a 20 pound weight in here that we have at the house and it held it just fine. So I don't know how often you're going to put more than 20 pounds worth of stuff into a stocking. You're probably not. The only downside I see to this stocking is if you're a child. Because if I'm a kid and I love stockings, my grandmother, shout out to Grandma Johnson, uh, Grandma has never had a bad stocking in her life. She creates the most beautiful, most amazing gifts inside of a stocking. But if I am a child, I don't want there to be a zipper. Because why? Because of course I want the present sticking out. I want this to be so full and so just volume friendly that the presents are outside. But if you're doing a white outfit, if you are doing um, Black Friday shopping and you want a unique purse that day or something, um, I could see maybe if you know how to sew, maybe adding a bigger strap to this or even to your own stocking. Uh, but for white elephants, for swag bags, I could see the, the zipper bag is a grand idea. Um, I think that if you are a kid, you're not going to like it because you want things sticking outside the stocking. I think if you're an adult and then you're going to a Christmas party or somebody happens to have a birthday during Christmas, uh, December time, this would be a cool thing to put, put their um, present in. Now, they do have different options. They have the, the Friendsgiving, the Thanksgiving style theme that they have. They have a patriotic one just in time for Christmas in July where it's blue with white stars. They have, um, you can get one embroidered with your name, logo, whatever. I believe it's up to 10 characters that they do. Uh, but go check them out. They are zipperedstocking.com. Again, they didn't give anything. This is just a uh, unsolicited review of their product. Uh, but they took time to talk with us and I, like, I actually like the product. Again, my only two things is I don't know about the stitching on the handle and I don't know about the zipper. But so far, neither one have failed me. So they're just things I think could be issues down the road. Just my thoughts. Big shout out to uh, everybody who has uh, uh, come on board and, and check us out at Christmas and July Extravaganza. You can check us out on Teespring. Uh, links down below in the description. If you want any of our t-shirts, we got quite a few of them. Uh, we can, if you were interested in our Christmas ornaments, you can email me at Christmas on Crestline at gmail.com and we'll get you hooked up with a $10 Christmas ornament. All proceeds do go to support the show and keep the lights on, as they say. And if you want to give us a, be, a, be a humongous supporter of us, you can go to patreon.com, type in Christmas on Crestline. You can support us for $3 a month. If you support us for $5 or more a month, I get to shout out your name. Uh, Alex Phillips is our most recent Patreon supporter, and he came on as a $3 a month supporter. But yeah, you can check us out on Patreon.com, and for $5 a month, I loudly shout your name, and which my wife just loves, and my dogs do too, when I get to shout people's names inside the house. It's awesome. It's, I love everything about it. So check us out on Patreon.com. We support, we appreciate all your support, plus you get your name at the end of every episode, which you're getting ready to see the Patreon card here in just a moment. That's about it for me today, guys. I'm Charlie, and I'll see you in the next video. So is this for uh, just the average consumer? Is this for? Oh, sorry. Oh, no, you're oh, good. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that's all right. That's all right.